Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude, and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be comparing the 93 uh, Classic Tyrannosaurus Rex by Mattel and a uh, custom uh, Red Rex that I made a few years back uh, with the basic chomping figure uh, by Mattel. So you can see it's very shiny. Um, I used a, uh, a sprayer for it, like a little airbrush or whatever they call it. And I think it turned out very well. It was my first ever uh, repaint. Um, and I tried to base it as much off the original as I can, um, or could. <laughs> and you can see like the, the neck and the tail have uh, that green coloration. And the inside of the legs also have that green as uh, the original figure had that. Um, I painted the kind of dew claw back there. And the fronts of the feet kind of have like a brownie coloration that goes up the front of the leg, which is also seen in the original. Uh, now, uh, Mattel's new uh, remake of it does not have that kind of darker coloration on the fronts of the legs and the feet, uh, nor does that green go all the way down the tail. Uh, like um, Mattel's uh, usual fashion, they kind of end it halfway down, um, but I'm surprised that even the uh, pattern on the back kind of goes down that way. Now they used a sort of purple on it as well as the leg and then I went with um, kind of like a blackish brown for that. Um, you can see I even did the tip of the tail there. Um, now the pattern on the uh, face is kind of similar. You can see there's uh, these lines here and then like a little splotch there and there. Um, now the eye on my custom one has that kind of um, slit like a cat pupil um, and then the, uh, the of course modern version has the uh, dot eye instead but they both have um, a kind of uh, yellow to it. I think the original is more of a green coloration. Um, side of the mouth, yeah, that's all the same. Uh, the teeth are pretty yellow on the uh, the newer figure. Um, and of course with the feet, um, one of the major problems with it is there's so many large scales on one foot and then very few on another. So they're not really matching up with those. But since this figure was uh, made a while back, the chomping one, um, the feet don't have that problem. But yeah, uh, this one is a bit bigger. Um, they scaled it up from the chomping Rex, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and the tail articulation, it has um, some sort of like metal rod because it's the real feel bendy skin. And of course the uh, chomping Rex um, just has that uh, rotating joint for the tail there. Um, but the neck articulation is nice on this figure. Um, this one doesn't have it because it has the swallowing action where you can stick things in its mouth. So the neck is just um, kind of bends. You can like fold it side to side, um, which is pretty neat. And of course this gang codes on the leg, uh, kind of similar to uh, like a battle damage effect, uh, which is also kind of cool. Um, and then the articulation, you can see those joints exteriorly but I do like the uh, the details on the stomach and the side of the neck with um, that kind of folding of the skin. Uh, this one also has that as well, but I painted kind of under the first one there and then there's no paint um, under the first fold on this figure. Um, but I do like the green. I'm so glad that they at least painted the underbelly green up until the neck. Um, I think that's really nice. And yeah, so, uh, I wasn't actually expecting them to make the uh, the original Kenner Rex, and that's hence why I sacrificed one of my own to make this custom. Um, I had a few doubles of it, so it wasn't that big of a sacrifice, and it did turn out pretty decently. Um, but I do love this Rex, of course, because um, unlike the painted version, um, you can take it around and uh, it can take quite a beating before the paint starts getting damaged and worn. And I do like that the teeth are separate plastic. So if you make it bite anything, um, it's not going to get scuffed paint on the teeth because there's no paint there. So that's my quick little uh, comparison of my custom and the 93 classic version. Um, stay tuned for my uh, comparison of the uh, a newer one and the original Kenner version, which I'll probably post tomorrow. 
So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.